Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Jazen, and on my channel, you can expect to see videos on luxury fashion, travel, and vlogging. So guys, as you can tell by the title of my video, today I am taking you to the top 10 autumn winter 2024 trends and I have so much to share with you guys, like honestly. And I also have some amazing pieces that I got to style my autumn winter outfit for this year. So if you guys want to see the top 10 autumn winter trends, stay tuned to the video. And also guys, if you are watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, please, please, please hit the subscribe button below. And also like this video and leave a comment below guys because it does help push my video to new viewers. <laughs> Okay guys, so I know this video was actually supposed to come out last week, but I was so busy I ended up bringing out a next video last week. Also, I hope you guys saw my afternoon tea at the Ritz Hotel, my last video that I posted yesterday. And I am trying to upload two videos a week because I have some really free time at the moment. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to be pushing my YouTube channel for that entire year that I missed out on posting videos or almost like a year I missed out on posting videos. I am really going to be pushing videos and just seeing where it actually takes me anyway let's get into the trend so the first one I want to start with is strict black coat so on a lot of the runway we saw that there was a, a lot of strict black coat so Victoria Beckham Balenciaga Dolce Cabana Prada Stella McCarty they all had some gorgeous black coat coat oversized black coat which i loved so much i did get myself a black coat from mangoes and i'll show you guys that but the price that i paid for that was almost 200 pounds so this is the black coat that i got from mangoes and it's super long quality everything feels amazing i love this coat so much i can see my styles i can see myself styling a lot of autumn winter outfits using this coat so i highly recommend it guys if you don't have a big black coat for this autumn winter do invest in a good quality black coat because you are going to be wearing it season after season. I did get it in a size medium because I want to make sure and have enough room to fit like if I have a thick jumper underneath there, the coat would still go on comfortably. Number two, corporate infused look. So if you watch my um, Gucci runway show um, review video, you would see that Gucci had a lot of kind of like corporate infused look with the stiletto shoes, the pencil skirt. Um, there was a lot of shirts as well in corporate in the, incorporated in the Gucci runway show. Dior, Valentino, Alexander McQueen all had corporate infused look with the oversized blazer and the bold shoulder. Saint Laurent had like a bowl shoulder jacket suit that literally it was to die for. Number three is metallic and sequins. So we did see a lot of metallic dresses and a lot of sequins dresses and also sequins shorts as well. So Gucci had like a really cool sequins short. Um, we also had Miu Miu had some sequins shorts as well. And Miu Miu is quite famous for having these kind of like sequins kind of short look. Hermes had like a red metallic dress, which I I think was literally gorgeous and I would definitely wear it for more of the Christmas festive season because I think the metallic and the sequins look is for more Christmas and festive season. We also had um, Blue Marine had like a silver gorgeous dress and Baudet had like a green sequins dress where I was literally obsessed and I was like I need to have that for the festive season. Number five, florals. There was a lot of florals on the runway. So Prada, Richard Quinn, 
Givenchy, Burberry, all had a lot of florals in their collection. I did really love the product collection with the floral skirts. Like if I can get that in my wardrobe right now, I would definitely run to the Prada store and get it. Alexander McQueen had a beautiful red floral dress, which was a showstopper. Like literally when I saw that dress, I was like, please just give me a red carpet. Number five, knickers worn with tights. So I wasn't too sure what I thought about this trend and if I would be wearing this for autumn winter, but I probably would try to style an outfit like this. However, we had Gucci, which had like the sequence knickers with the black leggings. Miu Miu is quite famous for the sequence um, knickers as well. However, Ferragamo had a gorgeous red knickers with red jumper and black leggings, which literally that look, that entire look was to die for. And red is also the color of the season as well, which you would be getting a video on, on the colors that you can look out for the change in season. And that is it when it comes to knickers and leggings. Let me know what you think of that trend in the comments below. And if you would dare wear an outfit with a knickers and a leggings. Number six, sheer lingerie style fabric. So there was a lot of sheer dresses on the runway. Mochino had like a gorgeous black sheer dress, which literally I was so obsessed about. Bottega had some sheer dresses. Molly Godard had some sheer dresses. So there was a lot of sheer pieces on the runway. Number seven would be baggy jeans. And guys, you know how I feel about my baggy jeans. Like literally Gucci and Bottega tigger had gorgeous denim baggy jeans which i honestly need for this autumn winter i am hope hopefully saving up to get the gucci um, baggy jeans and i'm hoping when i am ready to buy it i do get it in my size because the thing is with these jeans it is so popular that it gets sold out as soon as it hit the store number eight would be white shirt so at the valentino show they had like some massive oversized white shirt it was literally worn with a gong some of them had like a tie on it and uh, Honestly, I was obsessed with this dress. Prada and Christian Dior also paired white shirts with um, mini skirts. Christian Dior had it with a long skirt. So it was kind of more kind of like a corporate feel, but you also have that trending white shirt in there. Oh my gosh, guys. Balmain had a chick oversized color white shirt with um an oversized blazer and oh my god this look when i saw it i was like whoa this is literally out of this world but balmain literally killed it with their incorporation of wearing white shirts with that oversized color do let me know what you think of that balmain look in the comments below we also saw white shirts in pinstripes because Bottega had like a pinstripe white shirt with matching trousers, which I thought was kind of like a really cool look for spring, summer next year. Number nine is blanket scarves. So I can see this trend coming back again because there was a lot of blanket scarves in a lot of the runway show. So we had St. Laurent, they had like a chick red um red and navy it looks like um oversized scarf and i love how they tied it on the model literally if i can get that scarf right away i would definitely go and get it i do have a scarf from gucci which i would show you guys shortly paul smith had like a long black scarf with white flowers which i thought was pretty cool the geometric drawing of the flowers az factory had like a geometric scarf as well so this is my Gucci scarf that I got last year and it's beautiful. It's, I won't say it's that oversized, but I love the prints and everything. And this is behind just right there. Um, but yeah, this is how long it is. I don't know if you guys can see that. Number 10 hourglass look with chunky belt so max mara had like a camel hourglass dress with a black 
chunky belt i wasn't too keen on that look but there was like a lot of celebrities that was wearing like hourglass style dresses so yeah anyway guys those are the top 10 trends for autumn winter which i have chosen to show you guys today and there's a lot of pieces that i would be incorporating in my autumn winter um style for 2024 do let me know which one was your favorite however i have some few pieces to show you guys that i recently got so i got myself um something from prada and literally guys this is in high demand so i had recommend if you are watching this video and you don't have this yet just go to the store get it or purchase it online like right away so i got myself this product type because on a lot of the runway show there was like ties incorporated in a lot of the looks with the white shirt so i was like you know what i am gonna get myself this product tie it was 260 pounds I would put it up on screen for you guys and I would also leave the link um, below if you want to go and get this tie and the material is nylon because there's quite a few flying about the next thing I got I got something from Celine so as we know this year is quiet fashion and I really wanted to get like a new bucket belt because the only one that I have is the one from Gucci and that's really big. So because it's more kind of like quiet luxury, I wanted something that is simple, something that doesn't speak a lot. And Celine is such a beautiful brand and like I don't have a lot of things from Celine. So I was just like, you know what, I'm going to start to get some simple pieces from Celine. Um, because I just love that simplicity of it. Um, so yeah, we got this belt from Celine and I'll put it up on screen as well for you guys. I can't remember how much I paid for this. I think it was like 420 if I recall. I don't have my receipts with me. But yeah, those are my two recent purchases to style my autumn winter outfit anyway guys if you have reached to the end of this video thank you guys so much for viewing please also let me know which are your favorite trends in the comment below and look out for my video next week and if you've reached the end and you haven't subscribed yet please please guys hit the subscribe button below and leave a comment as well and let me know what is the next type of video you guys want to see me post next Thank you guys so much for joining me on this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.